Hello, welcome to my daily-ish vlogs where I talk shit about myself and my day. Um, we're doing like two days today. Sorry, I've literally just been um, from Chayaga. I went to one of my teacher's classes to catch up with everybody and catch up with her. And it was nice, it was weird to be like exercising. <laughs> And back where I used to teach, um, and, like exciting as well, because I want to grow my business. So yeah. So uh, the weekend review out of 10, not amazing. I don't know, it's difficult. So um, we've got like a really sad incident with a, a personal friend of Alex's who is, uh, departing from this earth I think at the moment which is really tragic and has been very very heavy on well Alex mainly um this is his friend so that's really really challenging and sad and I haven't known how to help or support so I've done the best I can and we've done the best that we can I think with what we've been able to do so we've like stayed local um, we did some really nice walks. We've been out to some little cafes and had McDonald's for dinner yesterday, which I'm just like really craving. I'm so almost on my period and like just craving fried food so badly, which I never normally do. Um, so then like I can taste for like two days. I don't know, I can taste, I'm really sensitive to taste buds because I don't eat spicy food. So it means this is true. I haven't eaten spicy food since ever. So it means that I've got way more taste buds on my tongue that are still intact than people who eat spicy foods who destroy the taste buds on their tongue. Did you know? So I therefore have a million dollar tongue. I only joke about this a lot. That was the dog, sorry. It sounded like a small creature. Um, so yeah, I can still taste like the sunflower oil and rapeseed oil, whatever is on Mackey's food. So yeah, like in one of those weekends and then I ended up feeling like this pit of despair and angst at myself yesterday. And I was like, I can't feel these things when there's other people going through so much. And that, you know, you just get in this cycle of, I want to feel this, but I'm also not allowed to feel this. So who do, do, do you know what I mean? Um, I've woken up feeling a lot better today though. I feel like loads more, I don't know if positive is the right word. Just, yeah. What I'm definitely realizing is that when I get those feelings, I'm not focusing on right now, I'm focusing on the future. And like, I've, I woke up this morning and I was like, thinking of a book, long story, thinking of a uh, a book cover thing. Um, sorry, I was just reading an email that popped up on my phone at the same time I was recording, I just don't do that. And it was like, basically a yeah, future focus, like everything, all of my angst is like, I've. I've already failed for the future. Basically, that was that was the book cover. So there's something more catchy than that. I can't think of it right now. Like, my angst is around, I've already failed. It's no point. I'm not going to make it different than it is. It's like, what the fuck? Who am I to say? Who am I to say that? Who am I to say right now? I've already fucked up my future. It's not going to work. No fucking point. Just like, what? I just get so... I get so involved in these moments where I like, start attacking myself mentally. that I can't see anywhere outside of, well, I've already fucked it. Just may as well, you know... May as well give up now. It's just not the case, is it? It's not the case. It's like, it's not about, it's not, Sky, just come in and sit down. Stop being annoying, please. Sit down. Lie down. Sorry, she's constantly ruining my vlogs. She wants the fame. Um, I love her really, but she's, she's begging for food right now. This is her, she's already eaten. She's just greedy. Please sit down. So where was I out of that? Do you know what I mean? I'm thrown off so easily. Very noise sensitive. I don't know if we've spoken about that before, but I have like, definitely I have lots of like sensory issues. So like if I'm out in a cafe or whatever, so I happen to stay and like a guy just goes on his phone and like, I'm so, I'm so like sketched out by hearing noises that aren't meant to be there. Like, I can focus on one channel. I can focus on maybe a little bit of background music, a calm background music. If it's loud background music or upbeat, then that's not going to work. A dog barking or straight over the edge. 
child crying straight over the edge, like every little thing. If I'm trying to focus on one thing and like those other noises, like I'm so sense, I'm so it's so easy to overwhelm me sense sensory wise. I did say that the other day because I was saying about how like I can hear the church bells and the cars and people talking when I'm in this house from outside. Um, clearly, I have good sense of hearing as well as a good tongue. That's, that's long. Um, so yeah, what we were talking about is talking about how fixated I get on the future and that that's the problem and that I need to stop reading my messages at the same time as talking to you, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm just distracted today, look, I'm hitting the nails again. I'm distracted today because, do you know, like I did this yoga this morning and like there's a bit of mindfulness in it and I was just like, oh my God, I can't be with myself right now. I'm too, it's, I'm too like fixated on all the things I'm doing wrong and all the ways I'm failing. I made a reel last night for Instagram um, that was just like really, really brutally honest about how I was feeling and also had the answer in it about how to not feel it, about being grounded and like, no one will hate you as much as you hate yourself when you're scared. Like, that's not who you are. You hate yourself because you're afraid. Like, you put yourself down and you feel like a disappointment because you're afraid of what happens if you don't get your shit together now. And I also watched something yesterday, which I also shared to Instagram that was on my stories that was like you like you can go for ages and be absolutely fine and then just randomly like just like loads of big feelings and come up which is what happened to me um and that's because you've gotten yourself into a place where you're able to deal with it all and I'm like hmm hmm that's a good point I like that I like that approach because like all of this stuff did sort of come a little bit out of nowhere really like obviously the money worries in that in September I'm just let's just piss around with my hand for a minute the money worries and that in um, like September time, like that was obviously really overwhelming for me. I like I lost all my hair just now, growing back. Look, um, like that was a, that was like a trauma in a, in a way, like a traumatic experience for me, and um, panicking about that. And then like I moved and I was fine. I felt so much better. And then I was like, oh my god, all these feelings. And I was like, what the fuck? There's nothing wrong. Everything's perfect now. We're all good. I just suddenly felt like all this overwhelm. And I think it is because I have been in a place where I've been able to deal with it. Which is good because that like theoretically means that I'll get it, get rid of it. And like I'll be able to like get it out of my system. Do you know what I mean? Um, whether that's the case or not, who fucking knows. But like it's the hopeful. There's, there's, a, there's hope that I could move to a place where it's not all that I am consumed with all the time. I'm like sick of hearing my voice today. Let's see what I've got on the list today for my journal. Quite a big, quite a big list today of things to do. Oh yeah, I want to get my mole checked out. I'm going to show you my mole. Sorry, that's that's not my mole here. You can't really see it, but I just noticed it yesterday, and I was like, I feel like I should probably get that checked out. So I need to put that that in today. Just another worry that I don't need. But, you know, when you like, it's kind of been this way for a little, a little while. It's, it's probably about time that I got it looked at. Um, oh, I've done I've done these things already. Look. Supposed to speak to the state agent today. She's supposed to ring me. Don't think that's going to happen. Think I'll have to ring her about getting a final date to move in. My bed being so slow. So annoying. I also need to sort an oil change for my car, which at the minute I'm like, too expensive. I was waiting for that money to come in, which should be in this morning, which I also need to check. But I'm literally talking shit basically. <sighs> and like, I don't feel like I should be allowed to talk shit when like, other people, like everything this weekend, like just is very humbling, isn't it? But like we've also talked about before how like, the whole point in this year was that I was finding the will to live. So I didn't want to die, but I wasn't that pissed about living, do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. I don't know what, what else to say. I wanted to, I thought about this morning about like, there's a, I spoke to a therapist a while ago who was willing to offer me like slightly cheaper sessions. So I thought about maybe taking him up on that. But I'll need to get that. You know, I said I'm getting that part-time job. So I need to get that done first and like moved in and all of that shit. This is why I was so in limbo. I just want these days to ring me today and be like, listen, I fucked up. You can move in tomorrow. Here's the keys. Like, thank fuck for that. As soon as I get the keys, 
flip around the place, go back to Cornwall, pack up my stuff, come back, done. Magic. I won't have internet though. Still figuring that out. I don't know if I can afford internet. <laughs> ah! If I just use my, my phone, if I've got signal there. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, like I literally haven't talked anything significant today, so I'll catch up tomorrow. Love you lots. Have a lovely day. Happy Monday.